Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will show you step by step process how you can set up multiple charts or how you can add more charts to your Thinkorswim platform that you have. So it's like pretty straightforward and pretty easy what you have to do. First thing what you want to do is go to top right and then you're going to see this like space here and you can choose how many you actually want. I'm going with a four. Okay, and here we are. So when I have it, what you can do is to simply uh, right here, let's say Tesla, and I would have Tesla here. Now, what you can do is to like read this thing here and have read this thing here, and it would automatically copy. So that's something you can actually do. And it's like pretty good. Now, what you can do is to simply like, let's say I'm going to click here on time frame and I can have 30 minute or like whatever time frame you want. And as you can see, when I have time from here, uh, I'm going to like different time from here. So that's pretty good that you can do too. And like, let's say that I would choose like this here to one hour. So, yep, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help and provide some guidance. Now, another thing what you can do is that if you want to have like only this one here, you can have like maximize cell. To not have maximize cell, you double click on a blue thing here. So again, you click maximize cell to have only one or not have one at all. So again, that's another thing that you can do that's like pretty straightforward and pretty good thing to learn. Yeah, I'm thinking what else that I would show you right now. Then you can simply also click here on appearance. So again, I would right click here, maximize cell. Then I would go to settings, appearance. And you can switch things up here if you want to. So you can change between candles or line, let's say. So that's something you can do. And when I'm going to like press apply and OK. I would click here, rest all cells. And then uh, what I could do is to click on a style, save style. And I would just go like style name one. And then what I could do is go back to two let's say studies or like a new one here and you can load the style. So you would have it right here, here like style, load style, style name one and everything would be like that. So that's another thing that you can actually do. So this is pretty much it and this is how we can set multiple charts here. If you can have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments and uh, the last thing you can do is that you can go to top right to grid and you can save grid as free charts and here you go thank you have a great day and goodbye see ya